Is this a video on how to uh, turn this into a DXF on the computer and modify it quickly? So we're just going to scan it. I want to try to keep it as square as you can. I've already scanned it and saved it as a JPEG. Now we're going to import it into into Inkscape. So now it's I've imported the uh, scan into in Inkscape as a JPEG and trace bitmap. Okay, sometimes you have to mess around with these numbers to get it to line up. Very nice. But here's our bitmap. We're going to delete our JPEG. Drag this down here. So you can see all the line segments. It's created its own, uh, essentially its own line segment. So what we can do from here is file, save as SVG. And we can call this gasket. We'll save it. Infusion. We're going to go insert SVG, insert from my computer, gasket, open. Your scale almost exactly accurate is I know I imported the original SVG and uh, I just drew a line segment and put a dimension on it and it was 1.382 so and I know that dimension should be uh, 5.25 212 let's say so what I can do is do 5 point in the scale 225 divided by 1.382 Three eight two, and that that should give me this exact scale. That and do another line segment right here, so you can see two two five. So that might be the more accurate way of doing that. So you're just gonna go hit E for extrude. You can see right here the uh, when you hit E for extrude, this circle doesn't come up. It's because there's a broken line segment somewhere in here. So usually what I do is uh, try to separate that. So you can see the line segments now broken somewhere in here. And these lines will just be deleted. So the line segment's broken in here. So sometimes double clicking it like that you can you can see how it's not quite exact, and if, if you need it to be really nice and smooth it out, what you could do is uh, create an arc, circle, to clean it up there. So that's the uh, the best way you can do that. Now this works for like signs and other things like that. There is an add-on you can get to join and connect lines that would solve that. I just don't have that on this computer. So the way the bitmap works is it, it kind of averages out the shades. So what you might have to do is you have to go back and you might have to um, either uh, redraw something like this. So something like that, I'd go back and edit the sketch because it'll actually cut that out like that. It'll give you a really long program. So what you could do is uh, then kind of clean it up with the circle, three point circle, and just find three points here, right? And then you can uh, delete the uh, the old one. But I mean, it's definitely, uh, for a shape like this, for the outside, it's not super critical, but for the inside, uh, you know, some of these circles, you can see that. Like it's not the cleanest, um, and even this one, but it should be uh, should be helpful for for the shape like this. Doesn't really matter, but the holes it's probably important that they're round. And in that time, it probably doesn't hurt to check some dimensions too. And here, if I double click the old one and press delete, so it just leaves me that nice uh, clean circle. Like I said, this wouldn't be really an issue, but this, these are the numbers that you uh, play with a bit in the uh, bitmap 
trace feature in Inkscape, and that'll uh, that can help clean that up sometimes. But usually a scan is probably the best you can get. Um, it's not going to be exact. The alternative is, is you could uh, you could trace out around your part with uh, with circles and and uh, you, you know scale it up the same way we did. Um, just import it as a uh, JPEG and then just calibrate the dimension on your your photo and then just trace around it using splines and circles and that's another uh, good alternative even not just a scan but you can take a photo of that and do that you look right here you can do that we're insert uh, canvas we're going to insert from the computer that's the that's the scan but it could be just a normal jpeg what we're going to do just pull this out of the way now that that's in uh, our canvases going to calibrate this so we know from right here to right here is 5.2 uh, 30 so there we go now what we can do is just start sketching this out with rectangles and circles and and uh, splines and I mean uh, it's uh, takes a little bit longer right if you were to draw some rectangles but uh, some things like you're gonna get a lot smoother lines and and cuts like right here you could you, you're gonna have to keep in mind that you're gonna have to constrain this uh, going backwards so so otherwise it doesn't just fall apart when you uh, go to move anything So, just a little things like that. Um, I would do the same thing for this if I took a photo of something that was a little bit, that was too big or three dimensional where you can't put it in a scanner. You just have to make sure you uh, you step far enough back from the uh, item that you don't get um, that you don't get any projected like three dimensional shapes where it kind of skews the skews the shape of the, the part. So. You know, you could pick away at this, and then uh, from there, kind of dimension these and say, okay, well, these are all whatever, 0.375, I don't know what they are, but then, you know, this is equal to this, and kind of go throughout the whole thing and do that. But that's just another, uh, another way to do the same thing. This would get you probably a little bit more uh, accurate version of, of that.